This week on the show, we're going to be hunting in my favorite place on planet Earth, my hometown of Fork Union, Virginia. First, we got to run out to Missouri to shoot a promotional video for my new gun line and actually do some skateboarding and super important tactical training. You don't want to go to Missouri and come home with no deer meat. If you want to live and I'm after you, just don't let me see you and you'll be all right, brother. I might start shooting spikes just to piss off the internet. Those bucks never did come in, but then outstrolled a target of opportunity. Right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I look over to my left and a pretty good buck is coming right for us. It comes right here, right on top of me. I just don't know what to do. There he is! Shoot him! Kill him now! I like killing them, dude. I like letting them grow. Sometimes I like letting them die. I spend too much money to have a little fun. Come on. I ain't changing, I'm a stubborn man. So can you love me? Well, boys and girls, if we were in old Mexico today, we'd be throwing Red Arrow a quinceanera because she is turning 15 today. Maybe not today today, but this year. We've been at this thing for 15 years, man. It's hard to believe. We've had a lot of fun over the years. We've been all over the country and really all over the world shooting things with our bow and arrows and our rifles. You know, I've been fortunate enough on the show to shoot giant elk, giant bucks, almost got eaten by a giant alligator. And I even shot a bear at about 15 yards running parallel to it on the show this year. He even been mauled by a wildcat a few times. This week on the show, we're going to be hunting in my favorite place on planet Earth, my hometown of Fork Union, Virginia. First, got to run out to Missouri to shoot a promotional video for my new gun line and actually do some skateboarding and super important tactical training. think that's yeah, bad, you should see the Uranus. And even though it's about 95 degrees in Missouri this time of year, you know I brought the Hoyt. So we were hanging out at Chase's place after the video shoot and we decided to buy a Missouri tag and hunt his lease there because you don't want to go to Missouri and come home with no deer meat. underneath me after I hadn't seen a deer in three days, four days. And she's dead at the end of that cut. And it's just a doe, but those are fun to shoot and that's meat. That's our first kill, man. It's the first spotted deer. That's the first deer we've seen and it's dead. So, we can see them, we can kill them. If you want to live and I'm after you, just don't let me see you and you'll be all right, brother. Other than that, I can't help you. Yeah, man, it feels good to get started, knock the dust off the old Hoyt and draw a little blood out there in Missouri. First red arrow of the season, boys and girls. I'm trying not to 
celebrate too loud because we still might need to mean, go ahead. still might need to not bump every buck out of this place. But that looks like a good arrow. Yep, hard shot. There she is, man. First deer of the 2022 season. Big old doe out here. Missouri busted her offside shoulder coming out. First bow with, or first deer with the new Hoyt. Get a number on her. The setup I got this year, I'm in, absolutely in love with it. But yeah, man, it's a pretty slick little setup. 30 inch axle to axle Hoyt Venom Pro. Like I said, I, I got mine in 80 pounds. Probably not the best idea in the world, but it uh, I get used to it. And then I love the fact that it gives me a little more oomph on the hogs and a little more flat shooting. So, uh, well, let's get a, let's get this big old doe out of here, man. Thank you, Lord. Well, we got the first kill out of the way for this year. Now we're heading back to Virginia for the opening day of bow season. When something's unnatural, you can just tell. That's why I use full range hanging systems to give all my mounts that natural look, like God intended. I'll have the uh, spaghetti and meat balls. Uh, not the balls. I'll have a uh, sick check, please. SKB cases protect all your hunting gear. And they're also good for splitting firewood. Olympic training! How about a little Taekwondo? Joe Rogan! Yeah, how about we Taekwondo? Kyo! So if you haven't been keeping up with our family story up until this point, we are crammed into a tiny little farmhouse. See, we sold our big house that we could all fit in when the market was good. Huh. So we're all crammed into here while we're building our new house on our new farm. I will say it's pretty tight in there with four kids, three dogs, and a wife, and one bathroom. We have figuratively and literally grown a lot closer as a family. It's hard being a teenage girl with your dad taking a dump while you're trying to take a shower, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta bear down and get through it. But you know what, man? We'll look back on these times just like Kat and I look back on being newlyweds in a tiny little basement apartment and realize those were some of the best times of our life. It's hard to realize, like it's been said, that you're living in the good old days while the good old days are happening. One of the blessings, which was a surprise, is my son Zeke here. When you spend weeks on the road and your wife mauls you like a wild cougar when you get home, it really should come as no surprise. But it was shocking. <laughs> oh, God. We also bought a piece of land up the road we call Dixie Land, not because we're referring to the South in general, but because it is right beside a little town called Dixie. So we'll be working on turning this place into a whitetail paradise over the next couple years, or at least a moderately better hunting place than it is now. And this week, I'm having none other than Mike Miller, the turkey killer, down to help us do some filming and hopefully lay down a good Virginia buck. This place has got some good deer on it for sure, but we just did our timber management and cut 60% of the trees off the place. So I'm guessing that probably changed the deer patterns up a little bit. So we're relying on our Spartan trail cameras to try to tell us, now that we've cut this place over, what the deer are doing. In the meantime, we're going to run down to my buddy Keith's property and see if we can't whack a deer. Getting a little serious now. Normally we'd have this backfield planted with Antler King, but we ran out of time this year. But this spot is just a hub. Deer travel through here all the time, and there's still plenty of leftover perennials out there for them to browse on. I don't know what to say about it, but Virginia deer hunting this time of year can be tough, can be awesome, can be amazing. And it all can turn around pretty quick, but typically it can get a little slow first, second week, but but we could still get lucky and have old big boy stroll through this field. We didn't get skunked 100% because we did catch a bass, a crappie, and we saw a gang of turkeys. So better than the last two days. We'll sit, sit tight and see what happens. So we get settled in the tree stand and oddly enough, we hear two bucks fighting up on the hill. That's for sure sparring. Let us gingerly touch our tips.
Those bucks never did come in, but then outstrolled a target of opportunity. She looks so delicious. Is it weird that I get hungry when I see a deer? Does that happen to any of y'all? Go to RedArrowTV.com to check out all our Red Arrow gear. Whether you're a patriot, a rocker, or you want to get to know some federal agents, check out all our Red Arrow gear at RedArrowTV.com. Red Arrow weapons, now I got a 350 Legend, baby! <laughs> you guys run out and check it out, man. Order yours today. This is the one right here, baby. I don't know if this deer saw us or smelled us or what, but when I drew on her behind this limb, she started stomping and heading the other direction. And you know what happens to deer when they act like that. And it feels good to kill one at home because the last four or five years have been a roller coaster ride for me as far as with health and everything that's been going on. I got diagnosed with Lyme disease and had a whole slew of complications from it that really knocked me out. I had to take a full season of Red Arrow off to try to recover. But we finally got things going in the direction they need to be going. I'm feeling a lot better. We're going to be packing the schedule, getting back on the road with some exciting hunts. And I have to say that because I got sidelined off and on for the last couple years, it has been a blessing getting to be home and spend more time with my family. Oh yeah, first red arrow of the Virginia season. Second deer I've killed with that arrow this year. The RIP TKO. There she is. Mm -mm -mm. That Megan meets hard on him, son. I mean, hard on them, crazy day in the morning. I'm gonna tell you what, buck, doe, whatever, that mega meat is mean. Oh, this is amazing. If y'all don't get down with killing some does, you need to start, it's a lot of fun. People too uptight. Well, you might spook a buck, well then you're not gonna eat good, so you just, you'll kill a buck too, just relax. I kill bucks all the time. But I also like killing does. I might start shooting spikes just to piss off the internet. <laughs> we got the first Virginia deer kill loaded up and we're heading back to show the family. We're going back to the house with some back straps. Nice, so she's healthy size. Oh, she's big, yeah. Yeah. Pretty good size, though. Good beast. Yeah, that's your first deer. What do you think? Oh, he's like, oh, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. Get it. <laughs> We're gonna yeah. make a blood trail and go get him. Get him! 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 Get him!
think Zeke wants to challenge Thor to a duel over this? <laughs> He's swinging. What? Do you know? How'd you know? Is it? Get him, Thor! 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 Get just a doe, how dare Sorry. you? It is a doe. How dare you? Congratulations. You know, this time of year can be slow, but the cameras over on Dixieland, they were lighting up. The good news about our place is it's got cameras all over every square inch of it. So if you step foot on the property, I'm gonna have your picture on my cell phone too, so stay away from my deer. This is a buck right here I like to call redacted. What you think I'm gonna show you the deer I got on my property right now? The ones that are still alive? I don't think so. Like this one right here, I like to call Redacted Junior. Is it a 120? Is it a 140? Guess you'll never know. So we get set up in a spot we call the home place. It's a spot where a bunch of trails come together and I know for a fact in the last several days, some of these bigger bucks have walked these trails, just not in the daylight. I'm not necessarily holding out for just one buck. I've got three buck tags and there's some deer on this property that need to get shot. So I look over to my left and a pretty good buck is coming right for us. Here comes right here, right on top of him. It's a buck. Come on, buddy. Well, here's the classic dilemma I get into in Virginia. This buck is a mainframe mate with no brow tines. He's coming in, this is a deer I really want to shoot. I'll be plenty happy with him, but there are better deer in the area. But I also only have a couple more days in Virginia to hunt. Should I wait on the big one? If I'm killing this deer, I at least want to make sure there's no other deer around, but you can never be 100% sure. So maybe, great, maybe I will deal with you. Maybe I'll deal with you like I dealt with Curly Jefferson. <sighs> I just don't know what to do. There he is! Shoot him! Kill him now! Don't you dare! Let him go! Let him grow! Ah, <laughs> yes! There he is! Let's kill him! <laughs> what about conservation? She no, man. I ain't letting him get away. We're gonna kill him right here. Man, I hate to do this to y'all, but we're plumb out of time this week. But next week, we're gonna pick right back up where we left off, and I can promise you that something is gonna die right off the bat. So until we see each other again, ponder this. If a tree falls in the woods and no one is around, will the game department still trample your Fourth Amendment rights? Something to think about. I'm just kidding, game wardens. Kinda. See you guys next week. I mean, sometimes you're like, 
I got poop, man. This is happening. I don't want it. I mean, what, what am I going to do? Poop in the yard? I think that's bad. You should see the Uranus. <laughs> that's what I'll do a couple of his lines oh, to, to throw in there. 